What is going on everybody? Today we are analyzing the tape of linebacker Nicholas Morrow, a guy who had over a hundred tackles last year, multiple tackles for losses, multiple stops, a really, really productive player in my opinion. Really excited to get into the film breakdown of Morrow because the guy makes plays like this all the time. You got an inside zone to the right, which means you got a double here from the center and left guard. The center's responsibility is to double and then get up to Nicholas Morrow and pick him off. Morrow's gonna quickly recognize the double here on the one technique. He's gonna fill the gap to the right. And the center is just not able to get there in time. But these are some of the plays that I see Nicholas Morrow making, right? Being able to read, react, fill the gap, make the play. I'm very excited for this one. Let's get right into it. Check this next rep out. This is a first and 10. And Morrow's going to blow this play up. Beautiful job being able to slip past the tight end on this rep. Making the play. This play ends up losing a yard. And plays like this, in my opinion, is why I think Morrow's going to work with the Eagles. First and foremost, you have to understand that the Chicago Bears are playing a light box. And this is something the Eagles do all the time. So what that means is the Bears only have six guys in the box. At the same time, there's six blockers for the offense. So what that means is that there will always be a gap that is not going to be controlled. So in the instance here, there's the outside gap as well as the gap here between the left guard and left tackle. So essentially what the Bears are doing is they're playing a light box. First down, they're going to take their chances that a run could potentially lose a yard. And if that happens, then that's going to benefit the Bears. And again, the Eagles do this as well on early down situations. So for me, this is a perfect fit. This could be one of the reasons why the Eagles brought in a guy like Morrow. He's going to do a great job right away reading that this is an inside zone to the left. As he recognizes it, he's going to quickly jump the gap. And you're going to see here the tight end's not going to be able to stop him. Great job being able to jump that there. Tight end can't stop him. Of course, the right tackle kind of holds him up there. And from there, him and the other linebacker basically stop this play for a loss of one yard. These are the type of plays that I think make Morrow such an interesting prospect. Again, over 100 tackles this past year. Uh, multiple tackles for losses. Multiple run stops. Beautiful job on this rep. Let's go ahead and get to the next play. All right, you guys, check this next rep out. Nicholas Morrow is going to do a great job filling his gap getting downhill and blowing up the entire play you see him here quickly react to the zone run to his side he's going to take on number 89 he's going to get low get that shoulder pad underneath the tight end be able to control him push him back and this play right here ends up going for no yards and that's because Mario right there is able to control the tight end contain the outside gap and him and the other linebacker basically blow this entire play up beautiful job by nicholas morrow Alrighty guys, check this next play out. Really nice shot by Nicholas Morrow to avoid the block at number 73. He doesn't make the play, but I do want to point it out that he does do a good job getting around the left guard here. So that's a pretty simple cutoff block in my opinion. I mean, just kind of based off the angle and where Morrow is, there's no reason why the left guard here should not have been able to make this play. Uh, to me, that's a really nice shot by Nicholas Morrow. You see, he's going to kind of get his right hand right into 73 there. That right there basically allows him to avoid the block. It's a pretty nice job. Obviously, he's not the first one to make the play, but he does avoid the block. To me, that's a positive winning ref by Morrow. Let's go ahead and get into the next play. All right, you guys, check this next rep out. You got a one-yard run here by the running back. But watch Nicholas Morrow read, process, and explode and just do a great job being able to get out there and help make this play now the way he moves within this play relative to the linebacker right next to him is very impressive you see morrow react much quicker than you do with 45 and it's really clear if you guys watch it in slow motion you see kind of what's going on with the offensive lineman and you see morrow make that read and really get out there much faster than the other linebacker and he's going to do a great job getting into the gap and you're going to see him take on the polling offensive lineman that's a beautiful job right there because a lot of the time the guy that initially makes the play or allows the other guys to make the play doesn't get the credit you know if Morrow he gets hooked here if he doesn't take this offensive lineman on properly the running back's gonna have a lane but the fact that Morrow gets in there and takes on a guy maybe 100 pounds more than him to me that's a beautiful play by the linebacker and you see him holding up that offensive lineman allows all these other guys to kind of come in and make the play beautiful job reading reacting filling taking on the the, the tackle right or, or the guard here the left guard here uh, that's coming around 
that's just a beautiful job right there by Morrow. Absolutely love it. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. This is a great job recognizing the read option by Nicholas Morrow. He's going to make his key based off the right tackle here who's going to step out towards him. The way the Bears were handling the read option was they're having their defensive end slant hard towards the running back, which means Morrow has to contain the outside. Now, this play only picks up one yard, but that's because of the recognition, right? That's because of the fact that Morrow reads the play. He reads what the tackle is doing. He recognizes it. And he gets to the outside and he sets the outside. If Jalen Hurd somehow is able to get to the outside, let's say Morrow ends up playing the inside gap somewhere, this play pops for a big amount of yards. But you see Morrow sets the edge. Hurts has to come back to the inside. The rest of the defense kind of swarms through the football. It's a beautiful job right there. Another really nice rep by Morrow. He's going to do a great job jumping and filling the gap. The defensive end is going to slant to the inside. And... Morrow's going to go right around. I mean, that's a beautiful job, right? This is a nice design by the defense. The DN here is going to spill. He's going to basically take on both the left tackle and left guard. And Morrow's basically going to come right around it. That's just a really nice job by putting your linebacker who is fast and Nicholas Morrow in the perfect spot to make the play. And he does that on this rep. Great job. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. Check this rep out. You got an inside zone here to the right. And Nicholas Morrow is going to shoot the gap. Great job recognizing on this play and blowing the play up for just a one-yard gain. Really, really like that right there by Morrow. Again, showing that quick ability to read and process, get in there. Uh, it's a pretty nice job. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. One of the things that sticks out to me with Nicholas Morrow is his speed. The offense is going to run an inside zone to the left. Dickerson's going to block 94 and Milata's going to come around on the full block. His responsibility is to cut off 53. Kelsey, Samala, and Johnson are all going to block to the left of the screen here. And watch Nicholas Morrow react. And he's going to blow this play up. To me, the way this guy's able to process and read a play. And then the speed aspect of it is beautiful, man. On these backside plays, right, where he has to chase it backside. He just does a really nice job. Now, obviously, his fit. For the Eagles, is going to be a big part of how much success he has. Obviously, I have 100% confidence in the Eagles coaching staff to put Morrow in the best spot for him to have success. But you really got to think about it. Like, is this guy a powerful football player or is he a guy with a little bit more speed? And to me, he's a guy with a little bit more speed. He does have some good power. But again, to me, the speed part of it is where Morrow flashes, right? And this is kind of a good example of just showing that to you guys. Another really nice rep by Nicholas Morrow. He's going to read the right tackle, come across his face, and he's going to blow this play up. This play picks up only one yard. Uh, to me, this is the type of stuff that oftentimes happens with this guy. Now, on this play here, you're going to see the center. Jason Kelsey, double team number 93 here. And then Kelsey is going to try to come around and pick off 53. And I think Kelsey underestimated the speed that Nicholas Morrow has. There's the double team by Kelsey. And then from there, you see him try to get to Nicholas Morrow, but Morrow's able to get over the top and blow the play up. Kelsey should have probably came out of this and went directly at Morrow. He obviously doesn't in this play, and Morrow's able to blow the play up. Again, the speed aspect of Nicholas Morrow is different. The guy had so many great plays against the Eagles, and it was because he was able to utilize that quickness. To me, great pickup right this guy's gonna really help defend the run for the eagles now i do want to switch focus and get into a little bit of his ability to cover i think nicholas morrow is a pretty damn good coverage linebacker um, he's one of those guys that's very fluid can move well and you see it over and over and over again this is a really nice job to be able to pick up tight end running the drag route. This is a cover three. So Morrow technically has the mid hooks. You see he recognizes it and doesn't just let the guy run. Instead, he's going to run with it. And this pass right here falls incomplete. Morrow's obviously in a great spot to be able to help make this play. A really nice job. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. Alrighty, guys. I want to get into this play right here and kind of talk through it a little bit. One of the things that a lot of people don't realize with a lot of linebackers across the league is if they're good in coverage or if they're bad in coverage. And the reason why is because every game, there's so many plays where a linebacker does a great job and then he never gets targeted. Uh, he makes a smart play and you don't know that he made this smart play uh, between not having all 22 access or just not caring to watch the tape and actually analyze a guy's tape and really understand what this guy is thinking. Now this play here is going to be a cover to Tampa and 45 here is going to be the one to run down the middle of the field. 
which means Morrow has the mid hooks as his 39. You got two guys here with the flats. But I want you guys to keep an eye on Nicholas Morrow. He's going to initially drop back into the hooks. And as Josh Allen starts rolling to his left, and Nicholas Morrow realizes that one of his check down options is available, Morrow's going to pick that off. He's going to recognize it, come back. And to me, that's a guy that understands how to cover, how to play football, right? Because technically, he could have just stood way back here somewhere. And some linebackers do do that. Scouts talk about this all the time. There's some players who cover grass. There's some players who find a guy and go cover that guy. I understand it seems like it's common sense that every linebacker should just do something like this, but not every linebacker does. So I do want to just give credit to Nicholas Morrow on this play for recognizing that. Check this rep out. You got a cover three, which is what it looks like to me. In that, you got Nicholas Morrow lined up over a wide receiver. The receiver is going to run an option route. Nicholas Morrow is going to get his hands on the receiver. The quarterback's going to throw it to the inside. And Morrow almost intercepts the pass. It's a pretty nice shot being in coverage right there against the wide receiver. Now, obviously, I think the receiver had an option route. Maybe the quarterback felt a little startled because of the pressure. Quarterback throws it. And Nicholas Morrow almost comes away with an interception. Would have love for him to actually pick it off. But still, pretty nice job being able to stick with the wide receiver. And at the very least, at least be able to get his hands on him. Pretty nice job. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. Once again, the Bears are going to run that Tampa 2. And this time, it's going to be Nicholas Morrow dropping deep. And the quarterback thought about throwing it here to the tight end. Morrow's in really good coverage. It's a pretty solid job right there to be able to take that away. And the quarterback's going to just check it down. Again, just to wrap this video up, Nicholas Morrow is one of those guys that I really, really like. He is one of those guys that I think has a lot of upside. Now, is he going to be a top five linebacker this year? Probably not. But the guy will be a productive player. He'll be very good against the run. And at the end of the day, it is just a one-year contract. So to me, it's very minimal in terms of the actual investment. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Wanted to do something a little bit different today. Thumbs up, subscribe. We will have Eagles content coming out weekly once the season starts. Thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.